Welcome to the UND Experience. I'm your host, Greg Rakestraw. We're doing this once a month from the Donatos at Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. While the football season has been over for a while, or if you look at it, it's not that far away down the road, the second semester of the school year every year for football coaches means the end of the recruiting season and spring football. And joining us to talk about both those two now. Again, next fall will be his 16th year as the head football coach at the University of Indianapolis in Joe Polizzi. Joe. As a football coach, what do you hope to accomplish in spring football every year? Well, it's a it's a tremendous um, opportunity to just teach. You don't have games that are breathing down your throat. You don't have scout teams. Uh, you just get to teach and coach fundamentals and technique to everybody that you've got. Uh, you get to look at some new things to see if you like them or dislike them, if right. they fit your personnel. You get to uh, to try some people out at different positions. Yeah. So spring is a really, really good time. Uh, I think you get a real good feel for the personality of your team, which you've got to look for. Uh, some guys can step up as leaders. Uh, it's just a really a, it's a tremendous teach time, and we're making the most of it right now. What do you like that you're seeing from your defensive side of the ball? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, it's very, it's been very impressive. We've got very, very good speed. Randall Courtney's been playing tremendous, uh, and uh, Josh Martin, our ends, are really getting after you. It's a, it's an opportunity to look at some young linebackers. Uh, we've got uh, Mike Dunn, who played last right. year. He is much improved. Uh, put on a lot of strength and weight over the summer, over the winter program. I'm sorry. But he has played much better. And uh, a good look at Max Davis, a newcomer from Cathedral, who's going to be a player. And Cody Cave is an outside linebacker. So very, very pleased about the speed of our linebackers. Tell us about the class you're bringing in for next year. Well, we're excited, as you would expect. We just feel like it's such a good group. It's probably the most balanced group that we've had all across the board. Uh, we've got some good running backs, we've got some good wideouts, we've got a very strong offensive yeah. line, a nice defensive line, a couple very, very good linebackers and DB. So we feel like overall we didn't really single on any one position. Uh, it was just a, an overall solid group, uh, outstanding players, very, very good athletes, and, and there'll be some kids in that group that'll step in and play right away. And now looking forward already to, to that August 27th opener, you play the exact reverse schedule of last year, which means you get six home games, and the first three of them will be uh, at Key Stadium. Yeah, we're excited about that. We're excited. There's a lot that has to happen between now and then. Sure. But the fact that we're going to be at home for those first three weeks, are gonna, it's going to be exciting. at Madison and Edgewood and thanks to their great staff for having us out. And whether you're following swimming, tennis, or any of the 21 intercollegiate varsity sports here at UND, of course you can do it right here at athletics.und.edu. Thanks again for joining us on the UND Experience.